What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Civilization 5 as Russia on this TSL map. So I'll have to put the resource icons, I'll put them back on. There's quite a lot, so I don't know if I'll keep them on all the time. But um <laughs> yeah, there's quite a few already, like it just makes this area looks like a nightmare, but I'll put it on. Uh, I'm getting feedback on the advice. Only episode one has come out as I'm making this. Episode two will come out later before I I'm only doing one today, so I don't get too far ahead. Uh, okay, Mongolia peaced out with China. And oh, China conquered another city. So that is... Looks like it's going to be China we're competing with. Which is quite interesting. That's going to be an interesting sort of prospect. Obviously, different abilities. Going to sell for a different kind of game, essentially. Which is going to make this quite an interesting sort of scenario. We're going to have our road pretty much completed. Wow, we are flying through the technologies. <laughs> um, quickly grab currency. Money's always good. <laughs> We are making a bit now. We were struggling at the start. Oh, the Huns just grabbed a load of tiles this way. Hang on a minute. Am I... Hello, Korea. Nice to meet you. Um, you just... I just gave it to them for free. Oh, my God. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, no. Well, I got con there, didn't I? It, it didn't transfer over for some reason. Somehow... Uh... China has this. <laughs> Don't know how that happened. That is very weird. That, that used to belong to Parthia, but there you go. It now belongs to China. <laughs> no idea how that happened, but that that's already a bit of a weird one. We'll uh, we'll we'll follow that and pay attention to it. They're obviously going to be playing a big part in this game. <laughs> that is really weird. Right, production in Moscow. I'm going to quickly grab another settler. Uh, Rostov. It's not. It's going to be our boat city. I mean. See Constantinople's right there, that'd be nice. Gonna probably have a lot of trade cargo ships one day, hopefully coming out of here. If we can. There's nowhere available at the moment. Um But what do we wanna actually get? I don't really know. I guess I'll just get like a circus or something. Colosseum. They do take a while, I'm just sort of waiting for production to grow. I haven't actually mined everything. The workers I'm gonna build a road down here, so it'll be done. Fairly soon. Sorry, can't just give out free money. They're not actually called China. They're called Tang instead. Just sound like a terrible like brand of fizzy drink or something. But yeah, I guess it's because the Jar changes their name. I have no idea what's going on in Africa. I really hope the Zulu's not like already conquered everybody. That would not be a good great start. All right, let's get to building a road between those cities. You can just start far building more farms. That should work. But yeah, we have plenty of furs. That is the what That was the that was the chart. There was a temptation there. Warsaw is obviously very exposed. It's not really connected to the rest of Poland. France could have got Krakow. That was probably something I should have accepted. But I'm still a bit nervous about some of our neighbours. I think we're in kind of a sort of leading position. I don't have to to take too many risks. Let's head down this way. These roads are getting built so quickly. Thanks to the um thanks to what what is it thanks to George? You're gonna forget. Thanks to the pyramids, I think mainly. 15% quicker improvements. Roads don't take that long anyway. So that is really helping. We have 625 gold. I'm gonna try and upgrade some units in a second. I'm about to access swordsman, so I won't rush it just yet. There we go, bring in another 7 gold per turn. And do we have 2 wine? Yes, so we'll do that with Babylon as well. But yeah, somehow China has managed to grab this. I don't... I doubt we'll attack it. It's like, it's just too difficult to get to, but I'm sure it will make the politics fairly interesting between the two of us. <laughs> okay, right. Just keep building. Is there a road on that tile? I think so. You just can't really see it. There should be. Unmet player lost their capital. I think we can find out who took it. Iroquois. Oh no. <laughs> What's the bet that this is America? I think there's one. There's not one more Sid this time, but I got rid of the Mayans. So there's a hope that Texas or the Aztecs will be a lot stronger, basically, than well, one of them will be stronger, hopefully. That was sort of the whole plan behind that. Send the settler up towards Scandinavia, try and get a Baltic Sea. 
connection as well. So we can trade out a different way. Right, let's get... I could go for the Oracle, and then I'll get the other stuff I need. In Moscow. I'll try and get the Oracle anyway. Seven turn... Uh, Twelve turns, sorry. Seven population. Okay, my PC just sounds like it's going to rattle something off. I've been doing that for ages, so, you know, it's not broken yet. I'm sure one day I will regret everything, but not not yet. People that like to smile. We're fairly low on this list, probably. That's fine. I can build a quarry. Can I buy some tiles down here just to just to annoy people? Just grab some. <laughs> just, like, steal that one away. Let's steal that one away. Just prevent China, like, getting it. <laughs> There we go, right, metal casting, heavily recommended, so let's get that done. Builder, yeah, this is all sort of getting done. Get some farms, just increase food everywhere. Let's go for a very high population, if we can, as much food in every tile that we can. That'll be pretty good. We're already looking like we've got a good little empire going. Rostov is a bit exposed, I should probably send some units down this way. Just to protect it, but he's sort of back to the sea, which isn't too bad. Quarry, get some more production. The settler is on, on their way. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to go. I don't, didn't actually explore up here, so I'll probably do that first. Doesn't look like we're in a race. I don't see this one. Poland settler just emerges from the darkness. Hopefully not. Right, okay, worker, I think I can upgrade you, yep. Bowman can't be upgraded yet, catapults, no. Spear, I've only got one warrior, oh no, the archer there can go up. There we go, and now I'm going to buy some more units. Um, catapult. And I'm going to buy one more over here, another bowman. And then I will send the chariot down to this city, just in case. I kind of want to settle here. But I do want to explore, so I'll just do it. I'll, I'll do it. I'll take the risk. Oh, you get an upgrade. Nice. Uh, worker. Everything pretty much done up here. Try and get a lumber mill. Churned out. Just turn Novgorod's actually about to overtake Moscow, which is pretty impressive for population. Didn't see that coming. So St. Petersburg. They're both pretty... Oh, there's Parthia. Okay. They must have given that to China. Unmet player. Please don't be Hiawatha with three. It's not telling me this time, funnily enough. Um, that's a bit weird. I'm guessing it's because there's two people with the same amount. It maybe got a bit confused. Right, St. Petersburg, what do we need? Don't need any of these things. So I'm going to grab a horseman. Who needs orders? Yeah, just come stand there. Keep us protected. Yep, stay in the city. Go build a farm. Stay in the city, yep, that's good. Right, what can we find up here? Lumber mill, add production. It's going pretty well, we're making the most of all our resources. Got a nice little road system. I need to build another quite a long one up this way, which can be a bit annoying, but yeah, we'll be friends, go on then. <laughs> Why not? The Huns don't really have anywhere to go, so they are stuck with these two cities. I want them. That will be my first conquest when I'm ready. Probably see if someone wants to help me out um, when I'm doing that. Right, keep on exploring up there. I do see some resources, so I'll probably end up settling more in Scandinavia than on this. I mean, it's not really that strategic to have access to this lake. I'm probably going to get the land anyway eventually through border growth. Obviously, I want to make sure the city doesn't get cut off. So maybe I'll have to consider it. I'd assume I'd probably grab Warsaw at some point in Europe. Into the medieval era we go. Mine. Farm. Okay, so yeah, there's horses there. So I'm probably going to go in this marsh tile. And there's silk here. Actually, no, maybe we only get an extra silk. Maybe we may as well go here, I guess, and get the iron. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Just go there. Optics allows units to embark. Great lighthouse, lighthouse. If I've got optics, I could like send a scout down this way, just do a bit more exploring of the map, I guess. I'll do that now. Eight turns for the Oracle, if we are to get it. <laughs> I would hope so. 
few other things. We're about to get a circus in Novgorod, which yeah is now our biggest city. It's growing quite a bit quicker than Moscow now. Choose production. Go stick a mine on that tile. Yeah, come back there. All right, worker. Do we want to start this road already? It feels kind of it's going to be expensive, but whatever. It's called workshops recommended. They're really good for production. So yeah, let's grab one of those straight away. If we can, we have no interest. I don't even know. I'm not ready to go to war. Okay, I don't have like I don't have that many units. It's a bit premature. Premature right now. I assume that green line is China. Yeah, that's them. This is score. It's not that relevant. We're actually in first of the people we've met. I don't know who the other green line is. Oh, the Celts. The military. I mean, I think that's me, and I'm guessing I'm in here somewhere. So it's not, not a disaster. Yeah, I'm up. I'm up there. Who's purple? Uh, Rome, I'm guessing, is leading the way. China's up there as well. So we'll keep an eye on that, and I can get a few more units when I'm ready. Um, I'm building a couple. There's a couple on the way. There's a horseman. I can actually purchase. I'm purchasing one of the units with a creep post just to get the free. Promotion. I'm just assuming Poland's not going to invade me. I mean, it might happen. <laughs> be annoying, but it could happen. Be all very sudden. Just keep my units, you know, pretty forward towards Attila. Oh no, I don't have enough to buy any more. I thought I could get one more. Never mind. But that will. Yeah, if I get another one next turn and the horseman's getting built, that will. Keep us sort of just ahead of everyone, make sure no one gets any ideas. Hopefully, anyway. That's the plan. And we'll also start building boats soon. Um, probably won't build too many in the Black Sea until I'm ready to do stuff there. But definitely in the north, that'll probably be quite useful to have a few. Catapult, just stay there. You, this one could come around this way a bit. Just keep our eyes on Attila. Another worker. Trying to build this road to a city that doesn't quite exist yet. Keep my eyes to China. They're not putting too much new stuff down here. Great Wall's been built far away, not near us. It's good. We don't have to worry about it too much. New city for Portugal. They've obviously they've got most of Spain now. Kept France out for now. Discovered drama and poetry. Very nice. Built a farm. The Huns have started to build up, so I think we do need to be aware of that possibility <laughs> of what's going to come. Start uh, maybe manning our borders a little bit. A little bit better. Which is sort of what I'm trying to do with the units. So I'm sort of moving them around to protect us. I mean, they're probably scared of us. It's like a double thing. We're both sort of scared of each other. So we're building more stuff. Speedsburg. Build a forge. Actually, the forge better than a workshop for land units. I guess I kind of want that. This city can be like my unit workshop. Let's get stoneworks. Research quickly. Okay, they're all five. Well, these are five. Extra food from terrace. Food from food from the farm increased by one. With rivers, we are mainly. I think all our cities, apart from Novgorod, are going to be on rivers. Well, this one won't be. When it's put down, I don't think that's a seven times twenty-five. I don't know. They will pay that. I think that's better than the hundred and seventeen they were offering. Yeah, it looks like Attila is. Oh no, he's gone after Siam with the help of Mongolia. Okay, not what I was expecting. I think he is going. He's surely about to attack us, isn't he? Not sure how white China. Okay, and Parthia. <laughs> Poor old Siam. They didn't do anything that bad, they just put one city in the middle of nowhere. Um, but yeah, I'll keep an eye on this situation. Obviously, it looks like they are definitely considering considering doing it pretty soon. And there we go, Yaroslavia. It's been settled. Another city up this way. Can I get a trireme? Uh, no. What? Oh yeah, okay, there we go. I wanted to do some exploring, that was all. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It wasn't like a, I desperately need this commerce. This brings in money, exploration spread overseas. That's not going to happen. The whole map's going to be pretty full by that point. We don't need faith. 
city states don't exist. Honor is obviously useful if we're going to fight wars anyway. And it's normally the one I do just to like, because you know, there's some cool bonuses in here for your army that just help. I might go commerce, to be honest. Let's try it. Let's get some money in. There we go. What do we get for adopting it? We'll boost gold output in the capital by 25%. So that's a nice, nice little boost already. Production up this way. Let's grab a monument early on. But that'll be it for this episode. So as always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.